video, we're going to take a, a real quick look at a function f of x is equal to e to the x over x squared minus 1, and we're going to locate all horizontal and vertical asymptotes. All right, so for our vertical asymptotes, we'll do that first because that seems to be the easiest. All we need to do is take that denominator and set it equal to 0. So we'll have the x squared minus 1 equals 0, x squared equals 1, and then we'll have x equals plus or minus 1, taking that square root of both sides. So finding vertical asymptotes of a um, rational function is pretty easy. You should always take that value then and check it, plug it into the numerator, and make sure that it doesn't equal 0, All right, in which case this doesn't. So we are good. Those are the two vertical asymptotes. All right, now for the horizontal asymptotes, all right, since um, there are shortcuts for finding horizontal asymptotes of rational functions. However, this one's not going to lend itself to that method because this numerator here is not really um, like anything with an x squared polynomial curve or anything where we could use those shortcuts. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take a look at the limit as x approaches positive infinity of this function, so e to the x over and x squared minus 1. We will also need to take a look at the limit as x approaches negative infinity of e to the x over x squared minus 1. So trying to find those horizontal asymptotes of um, a rational function and it doesn't fit our shortcuts, you take a look at that limit as x approaches both positive infinity and negative infinity. All right, easiest way to work this out is going to be to go ahead and do L'Hopital's rule. So we will have then the limit as x approaches infinity. Taking the derivative of that numerator, we'll have an e to the x. Taking the derivative of this denominator, we'll have a 2x. All right, plugging in infinity um, over infinity. Plugging in infinity, we'll see we have another indeterminate form. So we're going to have to do L'Hopital's rule one more time. So the limit as x approaches infinity, I'm still going to have that e to the x on the top, but then I will have a 2 when I take the derivative there on the bottom, all right, which means that this overall thing is going to infinity, okay? Um, so that's not going to give us a horizontal asymptote. Now we're going to come down here and try it here, all right, plugging in that negative infinity, all right, we're going to, well, let's actually just do that direct substitution to show it. Plugging in um, an e to a negative infinity, and then all over a negative infinity to the second power minus 1. All right, so then this top right here is going to go to 0. This will be infinity minus 1, which is really going to be just a really big infinity. So that is going to 0 right there. So now we can conclude that y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote as x is approaching negative infinity. Okay, so just one quick look here at those horizontal and vertical asymptotes, how you go about finding them. The vertical ones are pretty straightforward. If you cannot use shortcuts on your rational functions, then you do have to take a look at the limit as x approaches infinity and the limit as x approaches negative infinity. If the videos are helping, uh, definitely share, share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.